Good Monday morning, everybody. Thanks so much for joining me this morning for a song and a Bible reading. I don't know. It's never a bad time. And whether you're starting your day off, or it's the middle of the day, or maybe the end of the day for you, I'm so glad that you've chosen to spend some time with the Lord in prayer, and devotion, and song. And it uh, does something for you. Not just that, but as a child of God, it's, it's necessary that we spend time in devotion with Him. I do hope that this is not the only time you spend with Him. I, I, I suspect many of you are like me, is that we're endeavoring to have the Lord alongside of us for everything we do. Acknowledge Him. Take Him along. Make Him a part of your activities, your work, your job. You can talk to Him all day long. If you do it out loud, some people might think you're a little weird, but um, hey, you can talk inside. And He hears you just as well. Isn't that amazing? So It's a wonderful thing. So our family was away at some church meetings in Nebraska. They were, uh, it was just a short weekend, but it was such a wonderful time with the saints of God. And I'll tell you what, the Lord is moving by His Spirit in such a way that I have never seen before. And He has never moved before like this. We are living in a new day. It's a new hour. And He's asking us to move along with Him. So I would say, whatever barriers that you have set up within yourself or outside, whether they be a Maybe they're denominational barriers. Maybe they're barriers of unbelief. Maybe you think, oh, these things in the scriptures that we read, they're not for our time. They're not for our use. Well, I say we knock all those down and get in the move of the Spirit. That's what we want. We want to get in that flow. So so just some wonderful times of fellowship. So a couple meeting, um, one of the meetings, a couple ladies got up, well, they started this song from their seats, and we, and they went up to the front so that they could teach us all. I'd never heard it before, so I loved it. We could have sung it all meeting, and I would have been happy. I'm going to try and sing it for you, because it, it's called Set Free to Worship. Maybe you know it. If you do, sing along, and I hope that it also continues in our hearts and our minds and our mouths all day long. Set free to worship, I'm set free to praise Him, I'm set free to rejoice before the throne. I'll laugh, I'll dance, I'll shout and sing hallelujah, amen, let His praises ring. Set free to rejoice forevermore. Set free to worship, I'm set free to praise Him, I'm set free to rejoice before the throne. I'll laugh, I'll dance, I'll shout and sing, hallelujah, amen, let His praises ring. Set free to rejoice forevermore. Set free to worship, I'm set free to praise Him, I'm set free to rejoice before the throne. I'll laugh, I'll dance, I'll shout and sing, hallelujah, amen, let his praises ring, set free to rejoice forevermore. Oh, you can't sing that without getting your feet and your hands moving and without really realizing that, yes, the Lord has set us free and whom the Lord has set free is free indeed. And so it's time to lay down all those things that are burdening us, bothering us, and let the Lord take care of them because He declared that we are free. It, there's just something about our humanity that just wants to hold on to that prison though. And so we need that faith to believe that we are free and then walk in it. Set free to worship, I'm set free to praise Him, I'm set free to rejoice before the throne. I'll laugh, I'll dance, I'll shout and sing, hallelujah, amen, let His praises ring, set free to rejoice forevermore. Amen. Have you ever taken the time 
to just let loose before the Lord. It says, I'll laugh, I'll dance, I'll shout, I'll sing. Hallelujah, amen, let his praises ring. You know, that could happen in our own time with the Lord. I've told you this story years and years ago. I had a little problem with, with that, letting loose before the Lord. So I was working at a sawmill, and I went during one of my breaks, and I hid behind one of the big log piles, and I just decided that I was going to get free. <laughs> and I did. And it was a wonderful experience, and one that I'll, of course, never forget, and one that I endeavor to continue to, uh, to use that freedom. And so we are set free for a reason. We're set free to worship Him. We're set free, according to Galatians, Paul, is to, by love, serve one another. Amen? All right. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you that you have set us free and that you have set us on a course where we can be useful to you and your kingdom. We're not set free just to to uh, waste it upon our own lusts, but we're set free to flow with your spirit. And Lord, help us to do that today. Bless the reading of your word. Bless each and every one that's listening, Lord. Lord, I pray that they would find, each and every one would find that freedom to worship you in spirit and in truth and walk fully in the flow of your Holy Spirit. Just bless us today, Lord. Amen. I do believe we're in Psalms 46 today. Ah, this is a good one. This is a good one. They're all good, but this is a good one. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore, will we not fear Though the earth be removed, and though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea, though the waters thereof roar and be troubled, though the mountains shake with the swelling thereof, Selah, there is a river. We're talking about that. The streams whereof shall make glad the city of God, the holy place of the tabernacles of the Most High. God is in the midst of her. She shall not be moved. God shall help her, and that right early. The heathen raged. The kingdoms were moved. He uttered his voice. The earth melted. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Come, behold the works of the Lord. What desolations! He hath made in the earth. He maketh wars to cease unto the ends, end of the earth. Oh, we're waiting for that. He breaketh the bow and cutteth the spear in sunder. He burneth the chariot in the fire. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the heathen. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Oh, wonderful. Wonderful. Ah, there's so much that we could say. Um, and I could tell you so much about what went on this weekend, about what the Lord's been speaking to us about and, um, and encouraging you on that. He has really good things for us, but he's asking us, to kind of step up and do our part. And we can only do that by allowing him to lead and guide us, letting go of those things that are hindering us, walking in that, that gift, um, like it says in 1 Corinthians 12, those gifts that he's given us. And they're given to us as in a pattern that's given in 1 Timothy. Those gifts are not taken with some survey that someone has thought up but it's given by prophecy and the laying on of the hands of the presbytery. That's how they did it in the early church, and it works. It's a wonderful thing. If you want to know more about 
us and what we believe and how we believe and how we walk and how we um, how we do our our meetings and things like that just contact us we'll I'll let you know more about that if you're interested in finding out more about our family in regards to our music and our farm life and work life go on to our VIP page you're welcome on there in the meantime thank you for your prayers thank you for uh, keeping up with us and if you have any prayer requests let us know absolutely oh I keep forgetting to say this if you're in our immediate area, you're absolutely welcome to meet with us Sunday mornings. And also Wednesday nights, we are holding um, a singing, an old time singing and, and uh, Bible study at the Shakota Library, seven o'clock Wednesday evenings. Please come, you're welcome, and we'll just have a wonderful time of fellowship in the Lord. All right, you have a wonderful day, and God bless you.